everyone today I have a really fun diamond pattern this could also be used as another mesh or net pattern you're gonna need to use six ropes to make this pattern and I've attached mine with a lark's head knot and I'm gonna be using sections of two or I guess four ropes in each section and the knots we will be using is square knots and half hitch knots. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by using the four ropes here on the left side and tying a square knot. So I'll take my right side to cross over the two in the middle to form a loop. Then the string on the left goes over that rope behind the two in the middle and through. And I'm going to pull that. Then I'm going to take the left side to cross over then the right goes over that, behind the two, and through the loop. And I just pull that tight. Now I'm going to take the two ropes here on the far right and start tying alternating half hitch knots. So I'll start with this one on the right and cross it over the left rope so we have a loop. Then it just curls around and it goes through that loop. I'm going to gently pull on that to tighten it slightly and then I'm going to take the left side to cross over and this time that one curls around and through the loop and I pull that gently to tighten it up and I'm just going to repeat this side another time curls around goes through and I pull that tight and I'm going to repeat one more side, so this time we're on the left that crosses over. It curls around and it goes through the loop and I gently tighten that up. And that's what it should look like. And now I'm just going to leave this side alone for now and I'm going to go to my middle section and tie a square knot up top as I did before. Now I'm going to take the two here on the far left to make alternating half hitch knots. So I'll take the one on the left to cross over. It wraps around and goes through. I pull it tight. Now I do the next side to go over, around, and through. Pull it tight and I just repeat that two more times. Now one thing to note is when you are doing your alternating half hitches, try to keep the same tension between the knots as in try to keep the tightness even among both sides so that your knots come out to be about the same place. It's not a huge deal if it's a little off because you know we're human so we're not perfect but just try your best. And once you have the two sides done, we're just going to take these four ropes here, so the two from each side, and we're going to form a square knot. Now I'm going to go and repeat this pattern, but on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my alternating half hitch knots with, the, with this set of two. I'm going to take the right side, cross over the left, wrap it around, and go through.
and now I'm going to use these four here to make my square knot. And then use the two here on the left to make my alternating half hitch knots. So I'll take the left side to go over and around and then repeat alternating three more times. And now I'm going to use these four ropes to do my square knot. Now I'm going to go through and do my half hitch knots on each section of two. So we'll do one here and here and then here and here. So we're doing four more sections of alternating half hitch knots. So basically we're just going to leave these off for now. We'll come back to them in a minute and I'm just going to go ahead and do that for these. And that's what it should look like. And now it's time to do our next grouping of square knots. So I'm going to start by doing one with my four ropes here on the left. So these two that we have not really messed with yet and these two. Now I'll do one with the four ropes right in the middle. And lastly, the four here on the right side. And there we go so far. So as you can see, I'm starting to get a cool diamond shape here. And we're going to take it one step further and do another row of this.
and that's what it looks like so far and I'm just going to do one more set right here in the middle and there you go this is my diamond pattern slash net pattern using square knots and alternating half hitch knots so if I was to complete the net pattern I would just go and I would do another row here so that it was across and matched up top but I really just wanted to show you an overview so you could see what it looks like all the way across and the diamond pattern so you have the big diamond and also four cute little diamonds in between I hope you guys liked this pattern and you found it inspiring and helpful and thank you so much for watching